This is 2024 and it's time to introduce you to somebody new. The Articat ZR600-129 with ATAC. Obviously, you've probably been living under a rock if you haven't heard about the Catalyst platform. And when it comes to Catalyst, Articat's made a lot of noise, a lot of claims, and really said a lot of big things about this sled. Most of them are true. Obviously, Catalyst is the biggest news to hit Articat in the last, well, decade. It comes in many different forms from mountain to crossover with the Riot, as well as the Trail ZRs. Catalyst is a complete change. My initial impressions of this sled, I thought, yeah, it looks different, but is it different enough? And until I rode it, I didn't think so. But now, I do. Well, first things first, let's talk about something that hasn't changed a whole lot. It has changed a little bit, and that is the 600 SeaTac 2 motor. It's still the same SeaTac 2, but to get it to fit into this snowmobile, they had to make new motor mounts. It shifts the engine down an inch and back an inch as compared to previous chassis. When it comes to performance of that 600, it really hasn't changed all that much. It's still that kind of 125 to 130 horsepower range. But let me tell you, when they hooked that engine up to the belt drive under the hood, which is an industry first on the trail, it made that SeaTac 2 600 really come alive. The engine sounds great in this sled. And I am going to say this, and it is fact, this is the best sounding two-stroke in the business right now, bar none. Performance of the 600 out on the trail is very good. Mid-range, I would say, is where it wakes up. Down low, it's slightly softer as compared to, let's say, the Polaris 650. But once you get it into that mid-range, you really open it up and it gets on the pipe. This engine comes alive and corner to corner, there is everything there that you need from a 600 and a whole lot more as compared to the previous chassis. And I got to tell you, I am very excited to find out what it feels like with a bigger motor. The ZR129 in 2024 comes with either ATAC or a regular coilover shock. We chose ATAC for today's test ride, and let me tell you, it's a really good system. I will say I find the firm setting to be incredibly firm, like take it out on a snowcross track style firm, but the medium and the low setting is actually very, very comfortable, very soft. I was concerned at first about the diameter of the coils on the shocks and the actual, the, the diameter of the Fox bodies on the shock. These are really small as compared to most of the other in the industry, even the shock shaft is quite small. But I will say, with the light weight of this sled, keeping in mind that Articat has lowered weight of the Catalyst 10% over previous chassis, therefore they're able to use a smaller body diameter shock. And it works. So something really important to talk about when it comes to the Catalyst platform is the steering system. On the Articat previous chassis, there was, I believe it's between 13 and 15 different moving parts between the handlebars and getting down to the skis. There is now three different moving parts. They have cut that back so significantly that the handlebar input and ski output is incredible. What you put in at the handlebars, you see as output at the skis. On the Catalyst, it is tight, it is sharp, it's precise. I will say at 129 inches in the platform that I have today, the ZR, it has a little bit of push through the corners when the trail is hard packed and hard groomed. But as soon as this, the trail starts to soften up, you get a little bit more sugary snow, it's maybe a bit heavier, it really starts to handle good. The rear suspension on the ZR is a 129. This has a 1.25 inch lug, and it's very similar to the old slide action. Delivers a very similar ride quality as well, but I will say, because you're so much further forwards on this sled, the feel of the rear suspension is much different. And I will compare that to the Skidoo because Skidoo put people further forwards, which made the rear suspension and the impact of it feel less on your body because you were more in the middle of the, the fulcrum, the tipping point. I will say Articat has done a very similar thing and it makes that rear suspension feel like it's riding that much better. Keeping with the ZR traditions, it's a very competitive feel. I'm pretty certain I could take this sled out on a snow cross track and have absolutely zero problems tearing it around. But then when I put it on the trail, it's very comfortable and confident for that rider who's looking for an aggressive trail stance and aggressive trail performance sled. So there's quite a list of included features on the ZR Catalyst. Number one thing is the Articat attach system at the back. This is for clipping on all of your accessories, whether it be fuel tanks or storage bags or whatever it might be. And Articat claims that it's the fastest attachment system in the business. We're not sure if it is, but they're usually pretty right about that stuff. Now, some of the other neat features, you're gonna notice that the running boards on this sled look like they're plastic. Well, they are. 
they're composite, and composite is, in my mind, another word for plastic. But they work really well, and it's a way to save weight, which is a hallmark of this sled, saving 10% over the previous generation. Now, there's some other cool stuff that comes into play here as well, like easy to remove body panels and seat. The seat on this Catalyst comes off with one Zeus fastener, and it gives you access to your battery. Very smart, very quick, very efficient. When it comes to the panels on the snowmobile, it's three easy half turns, just like previous, but these panels come off way simpler, they also go on way simpler, and the fit and finish is impeccable. The hood comes off with two simple fasteners as well, and you get full access to the underside of this snowmobile. It's smart, it's simple, and it works. Overall, I am very impressed with the ZR and the Catalyst platform. This snowmobile delivers performance, 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 and that's what Arctic Cat has always been known for. It's been their hallmark. I'm very impressed with how the snowmobile performs. I'm very impressed with the technology when it comes to belt drive and composite running boards. There's serious, serious technology at work here, and I know that Articat has a whole lot more in store for the Catalyst, so make sure you stay tuned.